Hi world, this is Purple Zan reporting to you. Oh my God, y'all, one of my friends, y'all know I have to talk in codes because the whole shutdown, how they, you know, silence my voice on YouTube and whatnot. But my friend, one of my friends on YouTube just posted that her, it's a good friend of hers or an aunt or something like that, took that second J-A-B and almost stopped B-R-E-A-T-H-I-N-G. The lady is in the hospital fighting for her life right now. Went down there, marched down there, took that second one, and that was it. I had another friend I talked to in Houston. He said he hate that he did that. He went and got, he said he got so sick. He said he was so mad because he had people in his house. I think his wife is a nurse, tell, you know, telling him to go and get it. He goes and get it because he was against getting it to begin with. He went and got it. He said he got so, so sick. He said his body was sore. This man owns a business, a very successful business, wasn't able to fully operate at the capacity, the capacity that he normally operates in because of that. This is ridiculous. These are just a couple of stories. Can you imagine how many people... God forbid have lost their life behind that or have gotten sick. Not one time have the N-E-W-S or the M-E-D-I-A told people to take vitamins, to boost their immune systems by eating vegetables, raw vegetables and fruits. Have y'all heard them say that? Can somebody in the comments tell me they heard them? Pe these people say that? Have anybody on the R-A-D-I-O or the N-E-W-S have told people to take vitamins, exercise, like what I tell y'all to do on here. Boost your immune system that way. I haven't heard it not one time. Not one time. These people don't even take care of us. These people don't do nothing for us. Who and why do people listen who, hold on, let me say it over. Because I'm so, I'm so kind of irritated with it because it doesn't make any sense. Why would people listen to somebody or something or corporation or organization or an M-E-D-I-A outlet who's never done nothing for them but mess over them? And being that I'm a native Houstonian, I sure don't listen to the news or the M-E-D-I-A. Because let me tell you something, right before that Texas freeze and, and, and Hurricane Harvey and all of them, those were the same people telling us to stay there. It was, it was only a couple of politicians. Everybody had mixed messages. The meteorologists, some of them said, oh, it's going to be all right. We're going to weather it out. It's going to be okay. Some meteorologists were telling people, oh, this might, it might be a little, but they didn't tell you until like a day before it happened. Who have time to prepare and get their family situated and out of a city and state that's about to freeze over and the grid about to go down on them literally in about 10 degrees weather? Man, everything froze. I never seen nothing like that in my life. The door locks, like, I can't show you my doors, but the door locks, I had like a lock on my gate. It froze. I couldn't even open up the gate. And I'm telling y'all this is proper so you'll be prepared for when they hit y'all butt somewhere, wherever, wherever you are. Because I'm telling you, that, that whole thing was unexpected. Who would have ever expected a freeze in Texas in the month of February? It's hot as hell in Texas during that time. Oh, I'm kind of loud. And it's kind of early in the morning. I just thought about it. I got neighbors. And I respect my neighbors. So these people on the NEWS... They knew this was going to happen. They didn't warn people in enough time. And they did not prepare people. And these are people y'all going to go out here and listen to? To me, they rushed the whole, that, that whole thing was rushed. All of us have different body types. Our DNA is all different. Our, our blood, different types of blood. How you know if this thing is going to be compatible to, to your system?
how do you know how you know how it's going to make you react? I, I just, I, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. And it's so now millions of people have gone down there and gotten it. I'm just like, what's going to be next? What is going to be next? Y'all stay prepared, stay vigilant, stay watchful. Don't fall for everything you see in here. Do your own research. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Love yourself. You owe it to yourself. You deserve it. Exercise. Read. It's good for your mind and your brain. See, a lot of us with this stress, this is another thing. Stress causes the immune system to break down. They keep pumping all this negativity out here on this TV and everything. That causes the immune system to break down. If you got people in your house and they want to argue, fuss, and fight, keep the people away from you. Because all it's going to do is break your immune system down. That stress, I'm telling y'all, that stress causes all the time. I was out there in Houston stressed out. Taking care of a sick, el sick elderly lady by myself. A child that has autism by myself. Her daddy people not helping. Her daddy not helping. My, mo my mother's family not helping. With her, when she helped to raise all her siblings, because she's the oldest out of 14 children. She's the oldest daughter. She got sick. I come into the world. I'm I'm shipped from here to there to all these different family members because I don't have my mom to help me. Because she's not well. You know, daddy gone to the next family who end up messing over him. So I'm shipped from here to there. Mama not well. So I get at an age that I have to take care of her. They just left her out there on the streets. I have to take care of her because it's the right thing to do. I didn't really know her. I know I knew of her. She never got to spend time with me and, and, and nurture me and raise me. It's not her fault. She got sick. And even to this day, I don't really don't know that much about her. I'm just being honest with you. I just know she got sick. How she got sick? Had a mental breakdown. Now she has all these diagnoses because of stress. So I'm taking care of her, taking her back and forth to doctors, taking care of my daughter, taking her back and forth to doctors. Before I know it, I, my, 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 my health, mental health, physical health, health, financial health, everything started deteriorating. That's another reason why I had to come to the North to see doctors. This is the only channel I put my business out here on. Because I'm trying to help people. Don't let them break your immune system down. Don't be in stressful environments, around stressful people, people that want to argue, people who don't want to listen. And when I say read, because it's good for your mind and your brain. Y'all, I have started forgetting things at this, at this age. I'm not that old. Start having like partial Alzheimer's, honestly. And I didn't know all that was due to stress. I had all kinds of baggage around my stomach. Y'all, my stomach was poking out so far. And it's not because I really eat bad. Every now and then, I'm a human being. I slip up and eat me some fried chicken, some fried fish. That was then. It's been months since I've eaten that. You know. But not every day. Man, I had my stomach was, I can look, my stomach was way out here. It's not anymore. That was stress. Things that causes stress. So they said learning dance moves, exercising, reading books. That helps your mind and your brain. Eating healthy. So I started doing all these things. And I've been restored. Maybe not 100%. I still have issues. 
But when you do things to help your mind and your brain and you get away from stressful environments and stressful people, you're building your immune system. They're not going to tell you this on the NEWS or any other MEDIA outlet or on the radio. That's how you build, build your immune system. I've been around two or three people that had their virus. My mother was one of them. And by the grace of God, I nursed her back to good health and didn't even get it. So I was taking vitamins, exercising while I had her. I had my mask on, had her with her mask on, giving her nothing but spinach soup and collagen. And I was taking it myself and, and, and feed myself a lot of vitamins. And I could go out and jog every day when I had her, when I was nursing her back to health because I had to watch her. I jogged in place. I had to rent a hotel room because I couldn't take her back to the house and have her expose it to my kid. See, they're not going to tell you, you guys these things. Take care of your body and your mind. And then you'll be taking care of your life. This channel is about survival. And these are, this is the foundation of survival. I'm not talking about preps and materialistic things. I'm talking about your body, your mind, your body, your physical and your mental health. So my sympathy goes out to all those who went out there and took this JAB. And now they got all these things going on with their body and with their mind. Because these same people they went and got that, that from, they're not going to help them. They're not going to help you. They're not going to help them. Don't fall for the okie doke. Be vigilant. Be prayerful. Keep prepping. Keep learning. Take care of yourself. Love on yourself. Nobody else is going to love you like you're going to love you. Nobody else is going to take care of you like you're going to take care of you. I've been hustling since I was 13 years old out here in the world on my own. And I'm still estranged from family members because how they treated me as a kid because I didn't have a mother and father. I forgive them. I'm not going to hold that on me, hate somebody. But I'm not about to go back around it. And I'm going to continue to work and work hard the way I do and work smart the way I do. And I like to encourage you the same. We all have stories out here. Y'all keep surviving. Thank you for watching. Zanhero.com.